Welcome to the presentation of the Cold Azure Hard Shell Jacket. Today, we wish to present the feasibility of this product to the marketing board of Kathmandu. Before we get into it, we want to premise with our mission statement. It captures our philosophy and belief in the product. For so long, people thought this was an outdoor ski jacket, but really, we're about every day. There isn't any reason to conflate outdoor with skiing or hiking necessarily. When we get dressed every day, we dress for adventure. This leads us into our overview. Kathmandu is the right brand to launch this product under. It's a unique contribution because while it fits the current target market of Kathmandu, it attracts those that view such a jacket as every day. It also breaks down the existing positioning as being a purely outdoors piece and outdoors company and is instead a multi-purpose jacket. It can be worn every day, but it can still be used for those activities. Priced at $475 and distributed selectively both at existing Kathmandu stores and third-party retailers. It'll be promoted through traditional avenues of advertising as well as reaching our younger demographic through social media and that sportsy segment that we know Kathmandu consumers love through snowboarding opinion leaders. We begin with an analysis of the macro environment. While it cannot be directly controlled, we can influence them so as to, at the least, not cause disadvantage to the launch, though the last three can be influenced to our benefit. Firstly, it goes without saying the political is turbulent, causing physical distribution issues as well as the need to observe regulations. Despite the government's optimistic approach, what's important here is that we're aware and ready to adapt where needed. This is much the same for economic influences, given that they're in a congruous relationship with consumer confidence low and unemployment high. For legal influences, we've ensured that our product is fit for purpose and abides by implied conditions under the ACL and Sale of Goods Act. And of course, as will be presented under promotion, there are no breaches of advertising standards. This too needs to be continually monitored. On a more positive note, we understand sociocultural needs and have a philanthropic philosophy where we engage in charities and give back to the community. The last three actually are quite important for positioning. For technology, we've utilised the latest Demizax material and innovative payment services. And with environmental influences, we're committed to conforming with emission standards and proper disposal of waste. Given our use of material, we need to ensure waste is disposed of correctly. We have identified key direct competitors with Kathmandu and more specifically its product, the Cortisol Hard Shell Jacket. Our two main competitors are North Face and Patagonia. Both North Face and Patagonia have similar hard shell jackets for sale. They both have extensive campaigns and initiatives in relation to environmental sustainability and social responsibility. They both target the same market of outdoor enthusiasts and environmentally conscious consumers and they are also situated within similar price ranges of our product. When looking at our indirect competitors, we identified Kmart, Target and Nike. Kmart and Target both offer cheap, affordable clothing for the average consumer, and because of this, customers may sacrifice quality and durability features over their extremely low prices. We have also identified Nike as an indirect competitor as they provide athletic leisure wear with some weather protection features. We conducted a SWOT analysis in order to assess everything that could potentially impact the success of the Cortezoo jacket. Our key strengths are Kathmandu's strong existing reputation, it has positive brand image, associated brand equity and a huge customer base. It also has the infrastructure to achieve economies of scale which will help in reducing costs. Our biggest opportunity is to capitalise on the use of recycled material in our jacket and using this to further our stance on environmental sustainability. Our major weakness is the unfamiliarity of the material Dermazax, which could cause problems in the manufacturing process and customers won't initially identify the superior benefits of the material. Lastly, not only do we face a strong competitive market, our biggest threat will be the current global pandemic which will put a strain on the success of the jacket due to falling GDP and falling employment. We've implemented the following marketing objectives divided into monetary, market share, marketing and societal objectives. 
Given our situational and competitor analysis, they have a focus on competitors and establishing dominance. The monetary objective to start with is 40,000 units, so it's quite specific and it's measurable and achievable within the first 12 months following launch. For market share, we have a two-stage goal of 5% higher within the first two years and 10% higher within the next three. We would also like to see some sales in the Northern Hemisphere, beginning with the market in the UK. The marketing objectives, we wish to appeal to new customers and establish a 10% higher brand awareness internationally. So between our domestic and international markets, the spread of brand awareness is quite achievable there. Lastly, societal objectives. We believe that rather than having a specific target that merely meets regulatory standards, that we're committed to minimising consumption on every level. So of course we would exceed those standards. We also see this as being a useful way to position ourselves in line with our ethically conscious target market. And we'll elaborate on some control measures in the last section of this presentation. Our jacket is targeted to directly suit the needs of males aged between 18 and 35 years old with a shared interest in outdoor activities and a middle to high range income. Those who fit in with this market are looking out for a highly versatile, comfortable and quality made jacket. Our Cordizu hard shell jacket directly satisfies these needs, being the best quality on the market and are perfect to wear in a range of environments, from every day, whether it be to work or with family, to hiking or other outdoor sports. For those in our target market who value fashion, we have a range of six colours, yellow, navy, red, green, black and purple. While this jacket is designed to suit the needs of our target market, these are not limiting variables as it's suitable for anyone after a highly versatile and overall comfortable jacket. The Cordizu Hardshell Jacket directly satisfies the needs of our target market of comfort, quality and versatility. With features such as extra pockets, three lightweight layers making it the lightest jacket on the market, as well as anti-slip, wind and waterproof material, it's perfect for a range of circumstances, from grabbing lunch with the family to hiking, canoeing and other outdoor activities. We are using a brand positioning strategy based around product attributes and consumer benefits in an aim to create the perception of our jacket as one of high quality and status. The jacket will be part of our highly reputable insulated hard shell collection under our globally recognised brand, further allowing for this perception. With this quality comes a high price as the two are positively correlated. The price covers all the added features of the jacket as well as the costs involved with using the latest materials and technologies. The Cordizu Hardshell Jacket will be available to purchase in our Kathmandu stores with our professional, dedicated and readily available staff to assist, as well as online through our website. Customers are able to reach out to us at any time through our online chat service with queries regarding how to navigate the website and extra information on products as well as our inquiry system for larger concerns or questions. Ultimately, the jacket's high quality make with the added features and materials used, along with our well-recognized brand and extensive customer service, allow for a high perceived quality and status through a brand positioning strategy. The core product is a piece of clothing you use to cover yourself, either to keep yourself warm or used socially. The expected product is a well-designed, high-quality jacket with strides in engineering composition. Three layers of material, also referred to as the Dermazax, gives the jacket a 100% waterproof rating, with not a single drop of water being able to absorb into the material. Many pockets are also thoughtfully placed in unique areas to provide a, a physical and socialistic asset. For example, pockets are placed on the forearm sleeve to allow an easy access to things such as IDs or phones however, at the same time seamlessly integrated into the jacket, giving it a structural look and making it appear ahead of its time. The augmented product is the prominent brand association. Kathmandu is a well-cemented brand that is not only famous for its unique clothing, but consistent with its engineering and quality. On top of this, there is a 10-year warranty, a very generous return policy, and the assurance of eco-friendly materials. 
The potential of this product has is eventually a complete watertight jacket that can resist abrasion and penetration. Added resistance to physical components is ideal as this jacket was designed for adventuring and trekking. On top of this, the jacket could potentially feature ventilation systems that can be adjusted on the go, accomplished by maybe concealed fabric openings that can be slid open or closed with ease. With its potential status in society, the jacket can become a well-known iconic series of jackets due to its well-designed quality and demographic market insinuating wealth. The settled price we have chosen for this product is 475 Australian dollars. This price allows us to compete with the high quality market as well as compensate for the price of production. This price point also benefits the social status of the jacket by giving it a prestigious impression. This price is in between price skimming and penetration. Since Kathmandu is already a cemented brand and well known in the industry, there is no need to outstand our prices to compete. Promotion is a method aimed at the target market, basically in an attempt to entice new customers to come, but also encourage existing ones to stay and purchase more. This is done by an overall description of the product, subsequently improving brand loyalty. An effective way of reaching the target market for those who need gear in the colder climates is to place billboards on the way to ski destinations such as Jindabyne in order to influence those to buy one or even reconsider their existing jumper, which will ultimately increase market share. Also, you'd be silly not to use social media such as Instagram and Facebook to show off the product's superior features, as well as just posting photos and videos aimed at the target market like snowy mountains and freestyle snowboard runs. Also, Kathmandu can use sponsored posts to target people's accounts who follow winter travel pages so they can build a market base without having to spend a whole lot of money, whilst at the same time building people's trust and familiarity in Kordisu hard seal jackets. Also, using an opinion leader like American snowboarder Sean White in promotion can be very effective as well. Because of Sean's achievements and his large social media presence, we forecast that this will lead to more potential customers trusting in the quality of the product, not only resulting in increased profits and market share, but also giving the potential to raise prices in the future. It is also very important that Kathmandu chooses the most effective channel choice when looking at the distribution of the product, so we decided that utilising selective distribution was the most effective way. This channel comprises of targeting only moderate selections of the outlets which most address our target market, for example sports stores, airports and ski stores, on the way to and also at the ski resorts like Parrish and Threadbow. Therefore, in our jackets in store, where our target market will most likely be, it results in more effective exposure and subsequently increases sales and profits. Also, for the distribution channels, the jacket will be circulated most effectively when going from production, wholesaler, retailer, then consumer. We chose this method because it encourages wholesalers to buy it in bulk, which will ultimately allow them to achieve economies of sale, therefore allowing them to sell jackets for more than what they bought it for. Budget and financials play an important role in our marketing plan for the Cortezoo Hardshore Jacket. As you reflect on our estimations towards our pricing and our total budget for the promotion and marketing campaign behind our newest design. Kamendu being a global brand takes pride in the process of the development of a new product and believes that the budget and financials are aspects which, which can reflect the success of the designs. A variety of factors are taken into deliberation when determining a pricing strategy for a new product. These factors include the process of the product, the demand for the product, and other competitor products. To begin the cost and the projected revenue analysis, fixed and variable costs involved in the production and distribution processes must be determined. Fixed costs such as raw materials used, Rent, utilities, labour and overhead costs are the primary costs to be considered in the process. In the production of the quarter zoo hardshore jacket, we have estimated raw materials to cost $100 per unit, labour is predicted to cost $50 per unit and overhead costs at $110 per unit. This amounts to the total estimate of fixed costs to be at $260 Australian. The variable operating expenses are calculated to be $40 per unit. The quarter zoo jacket selling price is estimated to be at $475 which gives us a more than adequate net profit of $175 Australian. This net profit is reflected by a higher markup as Kathmandu is considered as one of the leading brands in the market. With the cost, projected revenue and a selling price estimation all being set, it allows marketers to further analyse and determine a price flow which they believe that truly reflects the product that we have engineered and produced. However, considering further development in technology and similar products and in other competitive jackets, Marketers need to also evaluate the product lifecycle and how it can potentially impact future pricing and revenue. 
Following on to the budget for the marketing promotion of the Kuruzu Hardshore Jacket. The bulk of our marketing campaign and budget allocation will be designated to the autumn and winter seasons, where people are more likely to purchase the product leading up to the colder seasons in the year. Buyers are more inclined to purchase the jacket as you'll become a necessity on snow, camping and hike trips in cooler seasons. Therefore, our events will be set in these periods. The table and graph below depicts the budget allocation in reference to our marketing and promotion campaigns. Large amounts of the budget are allocated to public relations and advertising, such as events, indoor seed promotion and advertising campaigns. This is due to we believe our target market of people who like to spend their time outdoors and partake in physical activity are positively influenced by these formats. To conclude and provide that we believe in the viability of the quarter zoo jacket for Kathmandu, we've created some key steps for evaluation and the key metrics have been designed to monitor our objectives. For example, the achievement of positive brand awareness can be determined through social media engagement and in particular our objective of new customers can be determined with unique visitors. Now given that one of our promotional strategies are social media, it is beneficial to utilise their free business account features where we can gauge all of these metrics. They also provide an analysis of the locations we're receiving visitors from and we can also implement this on our online site. Clearly, this is useful for our objective of entering international markets. Of course, should we not be able to achieve these units or objectives, we will reconsider our plan and undertake surveys and focus groups implementing the feedback to understand the core of the issue with the consumer at heart. Though in light of our presentation today, the quarter zoo jacket is a suitable and feasible fit for Kathmandu.